Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Banner Boy Games back with another video. Today I want to talk about this real helpful job tool by the name of JobScan. The website is jobscan.co. And JobScan is real good. It's a real good tool to help you get past the uh, applicant tracking system. You know, these days, you know, recruiters don't have time. A human recruiter doesn't have time to search through hundreds and thousands of resumes. So basically a lot of companies use what they call applicant tracking systems to, uh, to help, you know, narrow down candidates. And I guess, you know, uses some kind of algorithm thing. So I think this tool is real good for beating the applicant tracking system. Um, because a lot of people believe it or not, if you don't optimize your resume and include the right keywords, your resume will never get in front of a recruiter. Uh, due to the AI that's involved in these applicant tracking systems, you know, that searches for keywords and certain terms, it searches for similar job titles. So you have like a lot of AI, a lot of times, um, you know, declining people and turning people down, uh, actually good qualified people getting turned down because their resumes don't have these keywords and things that these applicant tracking systems are looking for. Um, and the use of that, like I say, the benefit of that to recruiters is it cuts down time on recruiting, um, in their eyes, it helps them, you know, makes it a lot easier. So, like I said, you'll see a lot of qualified people getting turned down for jobs just because their resumes don't have certain keywords and certain things that they're looking for. So I think this tool is real good. So I'm just going to give you just a brief overview on how to use it. I've actually used this tool a lot and this definitely have a. I have had some great success with it. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. So again, this website is jobscan.co. Um, in a nutshell, all you do right here in this field where it says paste your resume. Um, all you do right here is just uh, paste your resume. So you copy and paste your resume uh, like from Word or wherever you typed it up and you paste it in here. And then you paste the job description right here and what it does is it does a comparison and an analysis and compares your resume against the job description resume and basically kind of lets you know uh, how good of a fit it gives you like a percentage of and how good of a fit and closely it sh basically shows you how close your resume matches the job description and uh, so I'm just going to give just a brief demonstration I'm not going to go too too much in detail so as you can see right here I have indeed open and I've, uh, I've already kind of like already selected search for a job. I just put in like, for example, help desk on indeed. And what you want to do is you want to copy and paste the job description, only the job description part and not the extra blub and blurb about the company history and things like that. You just mainly wanted to, uh, copy and paste the, uh, the job description. So I'm just trying to just take a quick glimpse of this. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I would kind of start copy and pasting like, for example, this description right here. Let me scroll down a little bit. If I can get it down, can I get it? Can I get it? Let me see if I can get this guys. Let's see if we can copy this here. Bingo. So as you can see, I mainly got the job description copy. And like I said, had this been like some extra stuff, like the company history and other stuff that wasn't necessarily important to the job. You do not want to copy and paste that part, but this looks to be fine. So I'm going to paste this in the job description section right here. And I have a dummy resume of in word that I got. So let me just control all and just paste this and then click on scan. And it's basically gonna do a quick analysis of uh, how much my resume matches the job description. As you can see in this situation, normally you get like a little orange or yellow percentage thing, and it shows how much of a match that you are for that job and skills and keywords that you're missing as we scroll down. Um, this thing really goes and does a deep analysis of keywords, education match, skills and keywords, um, even job titles and things like that. It shows the hard skills that you're missing. As you can see, here's the resume side on the left. So everything that's on the left is what's on our resume. 
and everything right here that's on the right is what's in the job description as you can see right now with all these red x's that basically means that's the stuff that i'm missing and you got an option to click on more okay we got a soft skills part soft skill that i'm missing from my resume is knowledgeable the job description mentions it one time and I forgot to mention on the right hand side, not only will this show you what's in the job description, but it'll show you how many times that that's mentioned and that that comes up in the job description. So the more, the better. Um, one thing that I wanna just cautiously and carefully advise everyone is don't just stuff words in there. Make sure that if you're gonna use keywords that it actually makes sense. Don't just get too caught up stuffing words, trying to get a higher percentage and a higher match. So for instance, let's go back to the job description on Indeed. Okay, they ask for Cisco product experience. I'm just going to just do a lot of copy and paste in. So like Microsoft Windows 7 and Active Directory environment, blah, blah, blah. Normally, I, sometimes you can copy and paste whole sentences. Sometimes you just might want to copy the main parts like Microsoft Windows 7, Active Directory. But for time constraints, I'm just going to do uh, just a lot of copy and paste. just for example, like, let's see here. Damn. Okay, let me go down. Normally I would put this in bullet format, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I don't want to make this video too, too long. So I'm just gonna start copying and pasting. So Cisco, we'll just copy and paste that. Like I said, usually sometimes you'll just put Cisco experience, but I just want to show you just for demonstration purposes, what you can do. Okay, what else are they asking for? Daily communications. Da, da, da. Supports records. Let me just grab another one of these sentences just to show you guys. Okay, cool. I'm gonna see what how much of a percentage that, that plays now. So now I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna go back here. Clear resume. Let me see how much of a match, if anything. For his scan because i think they only give you like two or three free scans and you either got to sign in with your uh, linkedin or i don't know if it's facebook usually what i do after two to three free scans i just clear my browsing history and cookies and then close my browser reopen it and then i can start scanning again so let me just hit this and see what what kind of scan that we get now what kind of percentage ah you reach it okay I'm going to come right back after I reset this and continue where I left off. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let me try to see. I went ahead, as you can see, and somewhat cleaned up the resume, but not too much. Like I said, this is just a generic template resume that I found online. But as you can see, I pasted some of the skills that the job requires on my resume, uh, as well as to get a better match percentage. Also, uh, match the job title. So like uh, the past experience, I put desktop support analyst, which will basically help us achieve more keywords. So let me just copy and paste this. So copy all, paste, as well as the job description again. Let me highlight this all over. I wouldn't have to do this, like I said, by the way, if I was signing in with my LinkedIn. So let's click scan, see what we got. Now, as you can see, since I included some keywords in my resume, uh, now you can see we got a 64% match versus before everything was all grayed out. And usually for a lot of people, you know, as long as you're actually reading the job description, you know, usually you'll see this little yellow thing. Sometimes you'll see it, you know, barely hovering but just by including more keywords that the job description have in my resume, as you can see now I'm a 64% match. And uh, as you can see right here, they also, job scan recommends that you at least try to achieve an 80% match. And just scroll down now. And now we have more keywords. So to the left is our resume, to the right is the job description. And so now you can see that we have more keywords that are listed in our resume that matches the job description, which in increases our chances of, of being a good match 
which will also help, you know, whenever the recruiter goes to looking at resumes, now your name actually rank higher because uh, when they use this AI technology, this applicant tracking system, you have a good chance of, uh, you know, coming up in the search results is all I'm saying. So this is just a quick tool that I wanted to show you guys, um, especially like if you've been applying for jobs and you know you qualify for it and you know you haven't been getting called back, this is another good tool that I would recommend. So the website again is jobscan.co. Check it out when you get some time. And I want to thank you guys for watching.